द माइंड इज एवरीथिंग वट यू थिंक यू बिकम नमस्कार वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट आई एस आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर मेजर हेडलाइंस ऑफ द हिंदू इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड प्रेस इन्फॉर्मेशन ब्यूरो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट टू डेज डिस्कशन नाउ रिसेंटली रिसर्चर्स फ्रॉम द इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एस्ट्रो फिजिक्स हैव मेड अ ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग डिस्कवरी रिगार्डिंग द इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन अ रेडियो जेट फ्रॉम एन एक्टिव गैलेक्टिक न्यूक्लियाई एंड द इंटरस्टेलर मीडियम इन अ डॉफ गैलेक्सी एन जी सी फोर थ्री नाइन फाइव इट इज लोकेटेड अबाउट फोर्टीन मिलियन लाइट ईयर्स अवे एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट एविडेंस ऑफ सच इंटरेक्शन ऑब्जर्व in a dwarf galaxy the research revealed a unique radio structure resembling a bipolar jet centered around the black hole in ngc 4395 now british prime ministers expressed support for india's bid for a permanent seat on the un security council he emphasized the need for reforms to make unsc more representative and responsive advocating for permanent representation not only for india but also for africa brazil japan and germany talking about un security council it is responsible for maintaining international peace and security consisting of 15 members each with one vote now external affairs minister sj shankar met with brics counterparts at the 79th un general assembly to reinforce the group's significance in promoting multipolarity and global diversity the expanded brics now includes egypt ethiopia iran and uae and it is focused on reforming multilateralism sustainable development debt fair trade and poverty alleviation india aims to use brics to enhance its global standing and promote global governance now gst council has established a 10 member group of ministers chaired by minister of state for finance and it aims to determine taxation of luxury sin and demerit goods after the compensation cess expires in march 2026 this group of ministers includes representatives from several states and it is expected to submit its report by december 31st and do you know friends the compensation cess which is applied in addition to 28% gst on certain goods was initially set to last until june 2022 but it was extended to march 2026 to help repay a 2.69 lakh crore loan taken to offset revenue losses during the covid-19 pandemic Now India and Uzbekistan have signed a bilateral investment treaty and it is aimed at protecting investors from both the countries it ensures protection against expropriation and it guarantees a minimum standard of treatment and offers a framework for dispute resolution through arbitration it also promotes transparency and compensation for losses while respecting each nation's regulatory rights this treaty is also expected to enhance economic cooperation and foster a more resilient investment climate ultimately benefiting businesses and economies in both nations next article talks about world tourism day which is celebrated annually on 27 September to commemorate the adoption of the United Nations World Tourism Organization statutes in 1970 it aims to raise awareness of tourism role in international cooperation sustainable development and fostering cultural exchanges and this year's theme is tourism and peace next article talks about global innovation index because recently india has achieved 39th place among the 133 global economies in the global innovation index 2024 it is a significant rise from 81st in 2015 talking about global innovation index it is published by the World Intellectual Property Organization which is a specialized agency of the United Nations it measures innovation based on criteria that includes institutions human capital and research infrastructure credit investment linkages the creation absorption and diffusion of knowledge and creative outputs so with this let's conclude today's discussion thanks for listening and for regular updates you can follow us on various social media platforms